not all financial crises are alike. That's the message from Christina Romer, the former chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, whose research suggests that choosing the right policy response to a crisis may be more important than trying to prevent one in the first place. In an interview with Chicago Booth, Dr. Romer considers whether policymakers should target higher inflation during good times so that they can lower interest rates in a crisis. If you take the conventional wisdom that, you know, the aftermath of financial crises is just inevitably awful, I think where that leads you on a policy side is to say, well, the main thing is let's never have a financial crisis. So it really focus your, focuses your attention on the financial sector and how to, to make that more stable. But if you find, as our research does, that there's a lot of variation across episodes, then I think that leads you to say, not just, maybe it's a good idea not to have crises, but to say, well, what are the other things that might explain why sometimes countries seem to get through them very easily and other times they don't? So I think it does lead you naturally to think about you know, things like on the monetary policy side. Well, if hitting the zero lower bound, the fact that interest rates can't go below zero, was a real constraint on monetary policy, there's been a certain amount of discussion among economists. Well, maybe we should be aiming at a higher, slightly higher normal rate of inflation. So interest rates are normally a little bit higher, so you're less likely to hit the zero lower bound. That's a debate that economists are having. Um, or if you think about the fiscal policy response, if we look at Europe, one of the reasons why um, the crisis may have been particularly bad there or lasted for a long time is that a lot of countries started with very high levels of government debt. So they were unable or un, you know, the markets weren't letting them do a lot of fiscal expansion. If that's the kind of you know, what's been going on, then that might lead you to say what's really important is for countries to run very responsible fiscal policy in good times so they don't have big levels of debt load, big high debt loads. So then they're able, when something really bad happens, to do a very big fiscal stimulus. You know, that's kind of, if you look at, you know, why did Japan, uh, Korea and China get out of the financial crisis very fast? They just did a massive fiscal intervention, and they were able to do that because they didn't have much government debt to start with. So they, you know, had sort of the, the space to do those kind of actions where maybe Greece or Spain did not. Um, and so I think that's, that's an important kind of question to be looking at. Um, you know, are there policies like that that would make it less likely that the effects would be uh, terrible after a financial crisis?